Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy G Strimp, everybody, fake baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in. We go be in Chicago and Dalton, y'all. Look, we got so much shit going on in Chicago, y'all, that I don't even think I was going to get out of Chicago. You know, I'm calling myself, go cruise through the YouTube streets like I normally do. Mm mm, bro. Look. <laughs> a lot going on in Chicago. Let's start in Dalton, y'all. Now, y'all know we got a female lawyer out there, black lady. Her name Tiffany Hadden. Hi, y'all. Hey, Tiffany Hadden, y'all. <laughs> Not like the actress, but I can't even hardly pronounce it. But anyway, she is the Dalton mayor. They've been trying to get her for a minute, y'all. They got her on all kind of shit. She spend the money how she want to spend it. She overspend it. She take trips and charge it to the state. You know, charge it to the county, the little village out there they call it. And she just do what she want to do. She uh got people working that collect the garbage, small companies. She ain't been paying them. And anytime people try to come against her, they get fired or reassigned, right? And it's just been a lot going on. Now, they've been putting some heat on their ass. First, they've been at the meetings just complaining, just complaining. But it's hard to get things done when the person you complaining about have the final say-so of what happened, y'all. So, ain't nothing been getting done. But they have got enough media attention on that shit. The news went out there. WGN News went out there and investigated her and talked to her, and they dug up a lot of dirt. So guess what? Now the feds are involved. <laughs> the feds are involved, and you know how they do. They like to find something. Until they can get you, they smart. They start with the small players, y'all. The weakest link, as we should say. They start with the weakest link. And so far... The first weakest link has been this guy here, y'all. Let me let y'all listen to this. The weakest link. You know we got to get paid. We've got some breaking news this hour. A top aide to a South Suburban politician has been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. Keith Freeman serves as the village administrator in Dalton and advisor in Thornton Township. He works directly for Tiffany Henyard, who is Henyard. the mayor of That's Thornton how you and Thornton's Henyard. supervisor. Henyard's spending has come under scrutiny after a series of WGN Investigates reports highlighting first-class travel, meals, and public money funneled to her namesake charity. Federal prosecutors accuse Freeman of lying about his income from both of his government positions in his personal bankruptcy filing. That's tough. Now see, that's just one. That's how the feds play, y'all. They start with the one. And then you'll never guess who the other motherfucker was they get. They got, y'all. Oh my God. Y'all know who this guy is. Oh, let me find him. Andre Holmes, y'all. Now, you might say, where do I know that name from? Well, this is the big head, funny looking motherfucker that shows up at all the shootings, y'all. Now, I thought he just was a community activist. I didn't know he had a job in dog. And I'm wondering, okay, yeah, you're a community activist or whatever you call yourself. You show up to all these shootings and he be consoling the family and he always got a speech or something. So you guys power struck. You really just want to be in front of the camera, which is what him and Tiffany like doing, right? So anyway, he works for the village. Him, Tiffany, and a few other people went on a vacation to, maybe it was a business trip, to Vegas. So he had one of the little aides that worked for them. It's a female, y'all. She went with him and all of them, they kicked it and got a little drunk. And maybe he slipped something in a drink. And she said she woke up in his hotel room. 
This big head motherfucker. Picture him, y'all. He got the big head and that motherfucker. He's a funny looking cat. Listen, this nigga. <coughs> Listen, y'all. <coughs> this nigga called the police him himself. Yes, he called the police. Not just on himself, because he worked in Dalton. He called a Dalton police who was riding with them who was supposed to be in security. Yeah, guess what, man? I fucked the girl. He like who? The little girl that was with us last night? Man, nah, you didn't. Yes, I did. Look, he shows him a picture and show a picture of the girl in the bed sleep, knocked out. When the girl wakes up, y'all, and this is allegedly, but it's not allegedly because she had filed a suit against them. When the girl wakes up, she tells the police, he fills out a report, and she files suit. Would you believe they fired the girl and reassigned the police? The reason they did that, because Tiffany is the man. And she get the final say so on everything. She told the girl she was going to handle it. And that's how she handled it. She fired her ass. And uh, we assigned the police. Now what happened. That's what's happening to everybody that try to stand up to this woman y'all. Everybody that try to stand up to this woman. They either get fired or reassigned. Sometimes she can't fire them. But she can reassign the ass. Put your ass in Mexico somewhere on the border of Mexico. God damn it. And you'd be like, damn. I didn't know we had jurisdiction way down here. Yeah. That's how they do it. Mayor. Now look what the the county did, y'all. They hired our mayor, our ex-mayor, Lloyd Lightfoot. Mm -hmm. They hired Lightfoot. To go over the books for Dalton and see if she overspending. Cause see, I mayor life foot one too bad, you know. And she didn't have no scandals or nothing behind her name. She went in there, did her job, finished it. Mm, she out of that. No smut on her name. Not that I heard or I can remember. So they hired her cause they figured she know how the books should look. And you know, but with this lady having a final say so. What she really doing is finna get the feds to come get her ass. Now, I'd say this to you, Tiffany, or to Dalton. First of all, y'all hired that woman when y'all knew she had a criminal background in the beginning. Okay, well, that don't mean she was a bad person, but that lets you know she was a little shady. So, you give her all this power. You think she ain't gonna stick her hand in the cookie dry every now and then? Hell, me too. If I was working and I was the man, shit. I just uh, know when to stop. My hand to go in the cookie jar at yeah, Christmas and on the holidays, but that's it. But she is really misusing her power, y'all. And she sit up there and lie. And if you look how they run their board meeting, y'all, it's so comical. I'm talking about it. It's so comical. When anybody get in there that's serious, oh, it's over with for her, you know. Now, check this out. It's another story I want to show y'all, right? It's a Chicago boy come up missing. He was a door dasher, right? He went door dashing, and the first stop he had, he dropped his mother off. He dropped his mother off, and, um... He's supposed to go door dashing, but he never came back. Now, they didn't say they found him yet. Let me let y'all hear this. How to create best-selling print-on-demand t-shirt designs y in minutes. All if you're experienced graphic designer, you're probably tired of the content. All this is happening in Chicago. Well, good morning. The man's family says that he dropped his mother off for work here in the Gold Coast on Saturday morning and then went about his day. But after several unanswered phone calls, they became very concerned. I declined a phone number every 10 minutes to see. Oye Tunji Okanola says his brother Elijah is not the kind of person to just take off without telling anyone. He doesn't have a lot of friends. Um, so this is just really strange. It's really unusual because he's never out for a day. 
the latest is being home is 10 p.m., 11 p.m. at night. Elijah has been working as a DoorDash driver. His first stop Saturday morning was taking his mother to work in the Gold Coast near the area of 55 East Pearson. 7.45 in the morning, he jumped out of at work, and that was the last time we saw or heard from him. Because my sister tried to call him around 10 a.m., this how he sounds. This one rang about four or five times and he did not pick up. His family filed a police report and this morning Elijah's brother says detectives told him his car was last seen Saturday afternoon near Fullerton and DuSable Lakeshore Drive. Elijah is around five and a half feet tall, weighing about 140 pounds. He was driving a 2008 gray Honda Accord with a license plate A I've been trying to phone number every yeah, ten minutes to see if there's gonna be a miracle, but it's nothing. Sometimes I wake up at two thirty in the morning calling the number, but it's still switched off and it's just sending me straight to voicemail. He's also been searching city streets for any sign of his brother. Chicago is a big city. And I know it frequents at South Loop and Hyde Park. I drove around Hyde Park and South Loop and the Loop area in Chicago yesterday for almost four or five hours and I could not find anything. But if I can get an exact address, then I would know what's going on and I would know what I'm here for. DoorDash says it is working with detectives to help locate Elijah. Yeah. Now, obviously, Elijah's family is hoping someone out there has seen him or heard from him and will contact police. We are live in the Gold Coast. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Uh, they ain't found him yet. They ain't found him yet. You know. Now, that's crazy. I hope they find that little boy because he was a little guy. And But with these young boys, how they doing shit now, y'all? They carjacking and, you know, it's just crazy. They don't have to kill these kids, but sometimes they do. And sometimes the women lure them places and get them and do things, you know, because we got a lot of bad women nowadays, too, you know. It's just crazy. And um, that's terrible, y'all. And look, I was looking at uh, also watching the news. Y'all might remember this story. The woman had a daughter right and the daughter befriended this pregnant woman the girl about 16 or 17 they lured this woman to her house where they lured the teenager to her house and stole her baby y'all cut the baby out the girl's stomach and i guess they was gonna try to keep it but i don't know they got caught quickly y'all the baby ended up going to the hospital. The baby survived in the hospital three months, but the baby died. Anyway, they gave the mama 50 years. And then they gave the daughter 30 years. I guess the mama took more of the weight and she pleaded guilty. And by her pleading guilty, she probably took some of the weight off the daughter. She a big lady. She look like she can probably stand jail a little bit better than her daughter probably could. But that's just sad. I be wondering, what do people be thinking about sometimes, y'all? People don't. And sometimes common sense go a long way. Just think, common sense go a long way. So then we got another story, y'all. The little boy was at school and got out of school. Let me see if I can find. He got out of school, y'all, and he got hit by a car out there in the hundreds. He got hit by a car out in the hundreds. Let me see if I can find it. And now he in the hospital. Now that's the other one. Let me find it, y'all. Give me one second. I'm trying to maneuver because we go stay in Chicago because there's so much going on in Chicago, y'all. God damn. I don't even just be wanting to tell y'all about the shootings. A lot of this stuff is different. That's the boy right there, DoorDash, so that we just did that story. Now, I did this story yesterday, y'all. I little rapper. 
Y'all know him, PGF Nook. PGF Nook, yesterday, well, not yesterday, it's been a few days now. He stole, well, let me let this play, because I showed y'all the picture yesterday. Listen to his story. It's 2024, and if you're not making at least some money on the internet, like, what are you doing? And I don't mean to be rude, but you're probably sick and tired of... No, you're not. You got to be that ain't kidding. nothing worth it. You got to be kidding me, y'all. You got to be kidding me. I'm talking about PGF Nook, right? I see his picture, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to show y'all this. I tap on it and it's my goddamn video. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not mean to do that, y'all. This shit did not say that you shrimp so. Why is it in the news feed? That motherfucker getting a lot of traction. A lot of traction, man. A lot of traction, y'all. Anyway. Let me know what y'all think, man, about all that shit, y'all. Oh, now, that's terrible. It's just so much going on. Then, yesterday, on 66, why would I be going in the daytime? 66 in Austin. Three people got shot. Now, these ain't teenagers that got shot. These are old motherfuckers. One of them was 54, one was 51, and the other one was 50 something. All them old heads. I'm wondering did they owe somebody some money and niggas rolled through there and just sprayed them or maybe the young boys was just on bullshit rolled by and just bah, they shot out a right van <laughs> sped off now that's crazy I'm on my way out the door and I see it on the news and it's where I'm going it's the DC man shot nine people two dead in less than five hours this boy here went on a rampage. Killed three people nine. And a 13 year old sister doing a crime spree. What the hell is wrong with these guys? I showed y'all that. I think I did the story on this. They thought he was in the house one time and he wasn't even in there. Mm, that's crazy, y'all. It's a lot of crazy people. Like I say, when you see your family man. Stop arguing over little petty shit. Because one day you can be here and the next day you gone, y'all. You know, one day you're here, the next day you gone. So, love your people while they're here. Oh, shout out to my boy, Leon. Leon, General Dice told me to tell you thank you. And he like, thanks for keeping my name alive, G Shrimp. But that ain't what he said, old damn fool. He said, fuck you, Shrimp. You out there getting money on my name? I said, motherfucker, you getting money off my name, nigga. Fuck you talking about? You ain't on TV. Me and that nigga arguing on the phone like we was on the street. Boy, that nigga had me rolling. I said, boy, if I was able to hit you, I'd punch you in your shit right now. That's how we used to fight on the street. You know, me and that nigga used to get into it. We'd have a fight. I'd go get in my car, start it up. I'll be sitting there. Boom, boom, what you waiting on? Bring your big nose ass on, nigga. He like shrimp crazy, y'all. If I don't come back, shrimp killed me. Nigga, ain't no motherfucker go kill you. Said, if I don't come back, you ain't neither. We go die together, nigga. Ain't nothing happening to neither one of us. That's how we cared. If we all go somewhere, we all come back. But yeah, I had to say, shout out to my boy Leon, man. He said he appreciated, bro, because... It ain't that many people just uh, pull up on you and say, send this to your boy just because they like a story, y'all. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't even be going too deep into my background like I used to because I'm getting too big. It's too many people listening and shit like that. And, you know, and I got so many new guys on here that be in. Then niggas say something yesterday. That ain't what happened, shrimp. That ain't what happened, man. I'm going to give you two more chances. Look, nigga. You don't have to give me now another chance. You can get your ass off my motherfucking page. That's what you can do. I'm going to start blocking motherfuckers. All these niggas coming here with that bullshit. I'm going to start blocking motherfuckers. How can you tell me how to tell my story? How can I get my story wrong? I said it 
the way I want it to be said. It's the same shit I seen on the news, but I can't say it. It's wrong when I do it. It's wrong when I do it. No, you did that wrong. We got a lot of trolls. We got a lot of trolls, and I'm like, no, no, I didn't get that wrong, bro. I I read that story. I know how I got it. Now, if I misspell a word or something, yeah, I couldn't spell when I was in motherfucking school. I know damn well I can't spell, and I ain't in school, goddammit. So sometimes I might get it wrong. Or I'm typing into the phone, and I say, say, say this, say that. Y'all know I just got my grill in, so the phone ain't even hardly understanding me. So sometimes it will, you know. So I appreciate people that say shit with love, like you spelled that wrong, from. This punk and we love, I'm sorry, all right, I'll fix it. Because sometimes I don't see the title. Y'all got to realize, I'm the director, I'm the host, and cameraman, the editor, I do all that. Then I got to find a thumbnail and I do all that and I upload it. So sometimes I'll be typing fast and I might misspell a word or something. Then I look at the next day and be like, God damn, that ain't what I... And I had to fix it. Sometimes shit be too close together or whatever, you know, so, you know, y'all forgive me. I tell you, everything I do is trial and error, y'all. Everything I do is trial and error, you know. And then there's so many people, y'all. This show is getting so big. It's so many people that I run into that might have had a run in with me during their lifetime and they be like, Shrimp, why you don't bring that up? Why you don't bring that up? I'm like, I don't know. I done forgot more shit than some of you motherfuckers could ever. <laughs> Listen, you hear me? I done forgot some of the best shit that some of you motherfuckers can even remember. That's just crazy. I done forgot so much shit. If you want to... Uh, Deadly enemy or a good girlfriend or, or a connect or something. I had some people I don't even be remember. You know, I remember when my baby mama was young. My daughter was young. She used to be at the house with all these girls, and they didn't have no money, y'all. They just all hanging out over there. So she used to call me and be like, "BD, I ain't got no money," and she had a little boyfriend or whoever she was fucking with. And whoever she flirting with over there. And I didn't care about that because me and her never was in no relationship. So I'd be like, all right, well, I'm in the neighborhood. I'll bring you a few dollars. She's like, all right. So one time she called me and this nigga go snap the phone. Who that you talking to? That nigga better not come over here. She like, man, don't do that. This is my baby dad. Don't play with him like that. He ain't, he ain't that type of nigga. You, no, don't do that to him. You go get hurt because these niggas. They be riding around, it'd be a lot of, he, I don't give a fuck, fuck that nigga, you know, he go do woo, and I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm finna come over there. This nigga talking big shit, y'all. I'm talking about he capping hard than a motherfucker. But me, I know these type of niggas. I know a bitch ass nigga when I hear one, y'all. I know one. So I'm riding, I tell my partner, this nigga, soon as we pull up, that nigga run out the back door. So goddamn it, me, Turk, and I had a few other guys with me anyway. I tell them, let them out. Y'all walk up the alley. When I pull up, that pussy ass nigga be running out the back door. <laughs> That's how my mind worked all the time, y'all. Hmm. You hear me say I got ESP? Shit. I pull right up. <laughs> Where that nigga at? Out the back door he ran. And right into Turk them arm. They ego Reese. And I say, dude, let me tell you something. You can play with anybody else, but don't play with me like that, bro. Straight up. Y'all the one over here, bro. And if this bitch got somebody she can call and good three dollars, let her do that. But keep me out of your little petty games and all that bullshit, bro. Straight up, because you'll get hurt, man. These niggas will beat the shit out of you. And I ain't got to get my hands dirty. Turk want to slap him and... Psh, psh. I'm like, no, you ain't got to do none of that, Turk. You slap him a couple times if you want, but... Fuck that. He a poop butt. Some shit is beneath me. You don't even feed into it, y'all. 
That's how I be trying to be sometimes. If it's beneath you, don't feed into it. Everything ain't made for a comment, y'all. And everything ain't made to be argued about. Don't just start an argument just to be. You know, sometimes people can get on your nerve and you might want to say something. Just sometimes be like, you know what, I ain't even going to say nothing. I ain't even going to say nothing. Because you never know. People be trying to start shit nowadays, y'all, when they got their little gun. You know, when they got their little gun, they be trying to start shit. And you'll be surprised. People will kill you about your daughter and her daughter arguing over a game of hot scotch. Y'all see the story I did in Memphis? This lady and her daughter, they was out there having a big fight. Now, mama come out there with her pistol, and she just looking, but she ain't doing nothing. Don't you know the daddy went, got his motherfucking gun out the car, and came and blicked her ass down, y'all. Boom, 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 boom. Shot and killed her. She fall down. The daughter picked the gun up and boom, 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 boom. <coughs> Shot his ass down, y'all. You hear me? And they didn't even charge her with no heavy case either. She said the gun went off accidentally. And the police gave her a break. I guess they like, well, her mama is dead. It wasn't her gun. She did pick it up. So she might have didn't know how to work it. But if you heard them shots, now that bitch knew how to work that gun. She let about 10 go. And why wouldn't you? Your mama on the ground. Then the other story I did the other day in Florida... The 10 year old girl, her mama out there fighting. Her mama started the fight, y'all. They fighting, and the mama had her daughter the back, the purse. It's like they rehearsed it, y'all. You hear me? It's like they rehearsed it. Even her boyfriend said it's like they rehearsed it, and they planned to kill my baby. The mama had that girl the purse. She took that gun out. Boom! Dude said with one hand, like she had practiced it. Now, how a 10 year old know how to shoot a gun like that? I ain't talking about no 10 year old boy that's been playing Call of Duty. I'm talking about a 10 year old girl. Went in the person. Boom! How she know it was even loaded? Boy, she shot that lady and killed her, y'all. That's sad. When I tell you we in trouble all over the world. And a lot of time. It used to sound stupid when I was young. When I hear people say. It's that damn rap music. If you ask me. It is that rap music. Because it keep everybody hype. It keep everybody on 10. It's like a seance. You know when the witches. They go over something. And they get their self together and they I am and I it's like a chant, y'all. It's a chant. So the people be I Imagine this rap music all day it's out on the street. And the more you hear that shit, the tougher you become. Ain't nobody gonna play with me. A nigga play with me. It's up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, it's up. You play with the wrong person and something happen to your ass for real, bro. Anyway, it's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody fake baby daddy. What's the street? I'm a platinum I'm out of here, y'all.